Dreams lie at the roots of everything. And I mean absolutely everything. They lie at the roots of this whole culture we now wander around in the ruins of. I mean, please look, we, we have this idea at very best of dreams as another reality, separate from this cold, materialistic, rationalistic, hard-headed world of tables and lights and rooms. There's this basic idea of, uh, in us of the dream versus reality, versus concrete reality. A split. Well, fundamentally in reality that split doesn't exist. And we also have this general pervasive idea, which we know better, the practice of dreams by and large seriously belongs mainly to other cultures, not to our own. This is another way of distancing ourselves. But again, this is not true. At the origins of the West lies the dream. I'm sure you all know the, the Sufi poet Rumi. He says in one place, investigate any skill it's very interesting. Investigate any skill, any profession, and you'll discover that the root of them all is revelation. People learned them from prophets and saints and holy beings. And what Rumi says here about prophecy applies, as we'll see, to dreams. But apparently I'll be talking about the past, but really, I just would like to give you a sense that I'm talking about something incredibly alive in the present, now. It's crying out to be understood. Crying, about, crying out to be embraced. Re-acknowledged. And to be made real again through our lives, not just through our words or ideas. And basically, this is why I'm talking here tonight to ask you to help me to bring what I'll be talking about back to life. It needs to, for its own sake and for ours. Otherwise, we have no future. 